I'm Dana Hogerson. When disaster strikes your home or business, tell your insurance provider you prefer the restoration company the Mountaineers call. Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. One shot, one shot, two shot, two shot. Somebody that made me hot. We hot. One shot, one, one shot, shot, two shot, two shot. Somebody that made me hot. We hot. One shot. The chance started from a, a song, I believe. Ed Muldrow, who played linebacker here my freshman year and my sophomore year, actually, uh, number 20. He brought it up to me one time, and he's like, hey man, I think it'd be really cool if we did this chant. We sat down and he thought about it, and he's like, man, you know, not a lot of people have the voice you do. Not a lot of people have that ability to, to get the guys together, you know, especially at a time and at a university with such rich history and uh, heritage, you know, to bring something like that, which is a little different into the football program, you know, it was a little risky at the time, but, you know, I love it. I'm glad I did it. and. Uh, now the guys come down every day and uh, I mean every uh, every game we come down the tunnel and chant it and you know guys come and recruits they come and they know the song and it's just awesome man. The one shot two shot could be anything. It could have been some disrespect from the other team you heard or it could have been something you heard in the media. It was just that one shot two shot. Now somebody done made me hot. I kind of get lost in myself when I'm doing it. You know, we go through and sometimes we record the videos and you'll see it at the end of the game. And it's like, I didn't even realize that's what I was doing. I didn't realize I started jumping up and down. I didn't realize, you know, and uh, I just lose myself in the moment. And it's just one of those times where it's a moment where everybody, you know, there's a lot of people looking, there's a lot of people around, but I don't feel anybody but me and the dogs around me. And, uh, you know, you don't have that feeling a lot of time in a stadium full of 60,000. My time spent here wasn't wasted. My time spent here wasn't for granted. You know, people understood part of me. People, uh, you know, took in something that I brought here and uh, and made it their own. You know, it's like I always say at West Virginia, you know, guys come here from all over and make West Virginia their home and are accepted. So it'd be great for it to be the other way around for once.